Railroad crossings, they're everywhere and they're important. They help us share the road safely with trains. Trains can't stop quickly. That's why we need crossings to prevent accidents. They're designed to keep everyone safe. Imagine a big heavy train speeding down the tracks. Now imagine a car trying to cross at the same time. That's a recipe for disaster. Railroad crossings act like traffic signals for trains and cars. They tell us when it's safe to cross and when to wait. Understanding how they work can save lives, so let's dive in and learn more. A railroad crossing might look simple at first glance, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes to ensure everything runs smoothly and safely. First, we've got the tracks. These are what the trains ride on and they need to be meticulously maintained to ensure a smooth journey. Then there are the, the signals. These are the flashing lights and ringing bells that catch our attention. They warn us when a train is coming, giving us enough time to stop and wait safely. Don't forget the gates. These arms swing down to block traffic, ensuring that no vehicles are on the tracks when a train is approaching. They make sure no cars try to sneak across, which could lead to dangerous situations. And finally, we have the signs. These give us important information, such as the number of tracks and safety instructions, like how many tracks there are and what to do in case of an emergency. This information is crucial for our safety. All these parts work together seamlessly. They make sure everyone stays safe, whether you're driving, walking or biking. The next time you approach a railroad crossing, remember the intricate system in place, working tirelessly to protect you. So, how does it all work? Well, when a train is approaching, a signal is sent to the crossing. This signal is crucial for ensuring the safety of everyone around the tracks. This signal activates the lights and bells. These lights and bells are designed to grab your attention immediately. The lights start flashing and the bells start ringing. This combination of visual and auditory signals is hard to miss. This is our cue to stop. Both drivers and pedestrians must come to a halt to ensure their safety. A few seconds later, the gates start to lower. These gates act as a physical barrier to prevent any accidental crossings. They block traffic from both directions. This ensures that no vehicles or pedestrians can cross the tracks while the train is approaching. Now the train has the right of way. Trains are massive and cannot stop quickly, so it's essential they have a clear path. The train will pass through the crossing safely. The entire system is designed to ensure the train can move without any obstructions. Once the train has completely cleared the crossing, the gates will rise. This indicates that it is now safe to proceed. The lights will stop flashing and the bells will stop ringing. The cessation of these signals means the danger has passed. It's now safe to cross. Always remember to stay alert and follow these signals to ensure your safety and the safety of others. Railroad crossings are designed for our safety. They are equipped with various safety features like gates, lights and warning sounds to alert us of an approaching train. But they only work if we do our part. It's crucial to understand and follow the rules to ensure everyone's safety. Always slow down when you approach a crossing. Be prepared to stop, even if you don't immediately see a train. Never try to beat a train. Trains are much faster and closer than they appear and trying to cross in front of one can be fatal. Look both ways before crossing. This applies to both drivers and pedestrians. Always be vigilant. Even if the gates are up, proceed with caution. Sometimes a second train might be approaching from the opposite direction. If you see a train coming, wait until it has passed and the gates are fully raised before proceeding. Patience can save lives. Remember, trains are faster than you think. They can cover a lot of ground quickly, so never underestimate their speed, and they can't stop quickly. A train's braking distance is much longer than a car's, so it's crucial to give them the right of way. By following these simple rules, we can all stay safe around railroad crossings. Thanks for watching. Your safety is our priority. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more educational content. Stay safe and informed.